to Wolverhampton Music Service whole class instrumental teaching lessons. I hope you are ready to sing, move and make some awesome music with us this week. As we go into our fourth session, this week we are celebrating Chinese New Year. Before we do that, I would like you to say hello to my wonderful friends. We all know who they are, so let's say Ni Hao to Paul. Ni Hao. Mr. Luck. Ni Hao. Mrs. Barrett. Ni Hao. And myself, Phaedra. Ni Hao. This week, we're going to start with our Chinese warm up with Mrs. Barrett. Then we'll be moving on to learn a Chinese song with Paul. How exciting. We're then going to go and see George again. Now remember, all of George's lessons follow on from each other. So we're on week four. If you've missed any of them out, do go and catch up and come back to us and join in. In the meantime, let's get started. Right then, Mrs. Barrett, I'm ready for a Chinese warm up. Hi everyone. Today's warm up is based on a song that you've probably heard before. Let's see if you recognize the song. In this song, I'm going to play two instruments, and this is the first one here. It's called the gong, and it sounds like this. It makes a crashing sound rather than a tuned note, and it originated in China almost 1500 years ago. The other instrument I'm going to be playing today is the glockenspiel which looks like this. The warm-up is all about Chinese New Year and I'd like you to watch out for the dragon. I'm going to sing the first verse so you can have a look at the actions and listen to how the song goes. So every time we say February the 12th, which comes at the end of each verse, we're going to go tap, tap, clap. Try that with me. February the 12th. Okay, great. We're going to go straight into the song now. There's five verses. Just copy me for the actions. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Barrett. That was awesome. Did you enjoy that, girls and boys? Let's move on, shall we? I think Mr. Locke is going to tell us a little bit about what Chinese New Year is. Meow. Since we're looking into Chinese New Year in these lessons, I thought it would be a really good idea to give us a picture of where this season, where this holiday, where this celebration comes from. And it's actually steeped in a story, a legend that I'd like to share with you. So 
Here we go. In ancient times, there was a ferocious monster named Neon with sharp teeth and horns. Living in the dark sea, the beast would go on shore at the end of the lunar year and hunt people and livestock. So, every New Year's Eve, all the villagers would escape to remote mountains to avoid Neon's attacks. One year, when all the villagers were preparing to take refuge in the mountains, a strange old beggar man with silver hair, bright, piercing eyes and a walking stick decided to visit. In the rush to escape to the mountains, nobody really seemed to notice the appearance of this newcomer. A granny from the east of the village came to give the man some food one day, and as they talked, she told him of the terror that was the monster near, and began trying to persuade him to flee with everybody else to the mountains. However, the old man asked to stay one night in the granny's house, and as a thank you, he said that he would get rid of the beast for him. The granny, not being convinced that this man could shoo the beast, insisted that he should flee with them. The old man would not change his mind, and eventually the granny was forced to escape with the rest of the villagers to the mountains. At midnight that night, the monster broke into the villagers as usual, but he detected a subtle change in the atmosphere. In the past, the entire village had been swept into complete darkness, but on this occasion, there was a house in the east that had been lit. So, Nian approached carefully to find that the doors and windows had been pasted with red papers and that there were hundreds of candles that had been lit within the house. The beast trembled and squalled, glaring at all these strange new things, and in a rage, he swooped to the front door. And at that very moment, a loud crackling sound burst in the courtyard, daunting Neon not to dare come any closer. At that point, the door opened with a flash and the old man came out, wearing a red gown and roaring with laughter. Neon was gravely frightened and he was forced to flee into the dark night. The next day, the villagers returned and were surprised at the undamaged scene in the village. At that moment, it dawned on the granny that the old man had kept his promise. The people flocked to the old granny's house to find the red papers on the doors and windows and candles in the house and the burnt bamboo in the courtyard. The old man shared that Nian's weaknesses were the colour red, bright lights and loud noises and that they could use this in future to keep the monster away. In order to celebrate their triumph over the monster Nian, people dressed up and visited their neighbours and there was a huge party. The news spread and everyone now had the knowledge and know-how how to defend against the beast. Hence, on every New Year's Eve, people would then paste red spring couplets, light candles, burn bamboo and set off fireworks at the night time in order to ward off those evil spirits. The entire village and town would be ablaze with lights and people would stay up to welcome in the New Year. Oh, Mr Locke, that was fabulous, thank you. Right then, shall we head over and see Paul? Let's have a go at learning his Chinese song. Hey guys, so we're already learning so many cool things about Chinese New Year. Let's take a look at a song. Today, I'd like to teach you Gung Hei Fat Choi. That's what it's called. Gung Hei Fat Choi. You say it. Gung Hey, fat. That's right. Gung. Gung. Hey. Hey. Fat. Fat. Choi. Choi. So, Gung Hey Fat Choi. This is a Chinese New Year's song. It celebrates all the cool things to do with China and Chinese culture. And I really hope you enjoy it. Now, the translation, that means when the words get changed from a different language to our language, English. The words kind of mean wishing you good fortune and happiness, but they use this song a lot around the New Year's celebrations, which we know is not the same time of year as when we in England have our New Year celebrations. So the song has got a chorus 
that's the bit of the song which is like the main bit that repeats all the way through the song. And we've also got three verses. The verses will tell you a little story and then comes the main chorus. So the chorus we will sing together and the verse is a call and response. That means that I'll sing and then you sing, like an echo, or your school might call it my turn, your turn. So each of the verses give you some more information about the Chinese New Year and their culture. Verse one is about the moon. And we know from this video that the moon is really important and star signs and the years of the dogs and pigs and monkeys and stuff, that all comes from the moon. Verse two is about sweeping out the house. Now again, in Chinese culture, every year they have a good old tidy and they clean out all the, the bad stuff out the house and welcome in the new year, literally by cleaning the house top to bottom to make sure it's sparkly and they feel good for the new year. On to verse three, and that's all about dragons flying and dancing and firecrackers in the air. And we know from the video we've seen already that dragons are really important and a really strong symbol of Chinese lifestyle. So guys, we're feeling good. You're looking great. Let's get singing. Gung Hei Fat Choi.
Happy New Year, Gung Hei Fat young musicians out there across the West Midlands and welcome to video number four of George's Body Percussion Groove Pack. Now so far we have learned all four parts to the Groove Pack and we've also done some creative work as well. I know some of you have been uh, working on your own little creative filling bars to put in. What I'll do now is I'm going to demonstrate each part and I'm going to put my own little filling bar in at the end as well. If you want to use my filling bar you are more than welcome and of course, you are absolutely welcome to use your own filling bars as well. So part one goes like this. I'll do three bars of the groove and then I'll do my filling bar at the end. So part one goes like this. One, two, three, four. Two, three, let's play the part. There were five words that we used to start off the groove. Can you remember what they were? Let's all play the groove. Let's all play the groove. I'm going to do part one again, but I'm going to use our let's all play the groove at the beginning. Here we go. Let's all play the groove. Two, three. Let's play the groove. Part two went like this again. I'll do three bars of the groove and put my filling bar on at the end. I'll also start it with our five magic words. Here we go. Let's go play the groove. I like fish and chips. Part three went like this. Again, I'll do it three times. Put my filling bar on at the end. Here we go. Three bars of the groove, filling bar on the end. Here we go. So they were the four parts and my four filling bars. You are of course welcome to put your own filling bars on at the end if you would like to. So today we've got to figure out a little introduction to this whole thing. And the instruction is going to go like this. Actually, I need to bring in another George at this point because I can't do it at the same time because it takes both of us to do it. So let's bring another George. Another George, nice. God, isn't he handsome? He's great, isn't he? Right. The instruction is going to go like this. Do you remember this rhythm from your warm ups? Can we all try that rhythm together? Here we go. After four, ready? One, two, three. Very good, very good, very good. And do you remember this rhythm from your warm up as well? Can we try that rhythm all together? Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four. So, other George and I are going to demonstrate how this instruction is going to go. I'm going to play my rhythm three times, and he's going to play his rhythm four times, and we'll see what's going to happen. Here we go. Are you ready, other George? Here we go, ready? After four. One, two, three. Do you notice how he ended at the same time, even though our rhythms were different lengths? So my rhythm went like this. It's four beats long. One, two, three, four. Do you know your four times table? Let's give it a go now. One times four is four. Two times four is eight. And three times four is 12. All in all, my rhythm is 12 beats long. Let's, let's listen to it again. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Other George's rhythm goes like this. It's three beats long. 
One, two, three. Now, do you know your three times table? Let's give it a go. One times three is three. Two times three is six. Three times three is nine. And four times three is 12. So his rhythm altogether is 12 beats long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four times three is twelve. Three times four is twelve. They're both twelve beats long. Twelve is the number, the magic number that's in common both in the three times table and the four times table. Amazing. So what I'd like to do now, I'd like to split the room, split the room down the middle. Okay, split the room down the middle. And you guys over here, you're going to be with me, we're going to be carrots, okay? Give me a wave, carrots. Fantastic, carrots, we're going to do this rhythm. Carrots. You're going to do your rhythm three times. So, one, two, three. And then we're going to freeze like statues at the end. At the George's side of the room, you're going to be broccolis. Give me a wave, broccolis. Hello. I love broccoli. Love it. Broccolis, you're going to do this. Broccolis, you're going to do your rhythm four times. So broccolis is one, two, three, four. And at the end, you're going to freeze like a statue. Okay? Here we go. We're going to try both together, carrots and broccolis. Here we go. Carrots three times, broccolis four times. Are you ready, other George? Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Excellent. Let's do it again. One more time. Ready? Here we go. Carrots and broccoli. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. And freeze like a statue. Very good. Excellent. Let's switch round. So now, other George's side, you're going to be carrots. Give us a wave, carrots. And my side, you're going to be broccoli. Give us a wave, broccoli. So, oh, carrots, you're going to be doing this. Carrots, you do your rhythm three times, so carrots is one, two, three, and freeze like a statue. And broccoli's on my side, give us a wave, broccoli's. Broccoli's, you're going to be doing this rhythm. Broccoli's, you do your rhythm four times, so broccoli's is one, two, three, four, and then freeze like a statue. Carrots and broccoli's. Ready, here we go, after four, ready? One, two, three. Amazing, very well done. So that is going to be our introduction and then we're going to go into our grooves. So next time we're going to put this whole amazing, wicked thing together. We're going to do our all four parts. We're going to do our filling bars. We've got this amazing instruction. It is going to be epic. I'm so looking forward to performing it with you. But for now, copy me, do this. And do this. Remember, it's got to be straight away. Do this. And do this. Rub your hands together. And do this again. Rub your hands together. And do this again. Reach high, very high. Can you see? Very high, very high. Bend over and touch your toes. Now we do this. And on our knees, on our tummies, on our chests. And just give yourselves a nice head massage. Great job, everyone. Very, very well done. I will see you next time for the fifth and final installment of George's Body Percussion Groove Pack. Bye-bye! Give yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. Shall we have a look at our instrument of the week? Hello, I'm Mrs Fletcher and this is my flute. It's made out of lovely, shiny, silver-coloured, metal and that gives it a really bright sound. Have a listen. <laughs>
this middle bit is the body of the flute and this little bit is the foot. Now I'd like to play a piece I love that. Now, if you want to see more of Mrs. Fletcher and her flute, you can follow the link to her YouTube video. It's well worth a watch. Well, girls and boys, we've had a wonderful week. I have certainly enjoyed celebrating Chinese New Year and learning about the culture with you all. We had a wonderful warm up from Mrs. Barrett, a fantastic new Chinese song from Paul, we continued with George's body percussion workout. Great one, George, thank you. Now, I'm going to set you a challenge, okay? I want you to go away and find out what year of the zodiac you were born. So I was born the year of the rat. Squeak, squeak. I wonder what animal Paul would be. And Mr. Locke and Mrs. Barrett. <gasps> Ooh. And I wonder what you are. It's been a pleasure to celebrate with you. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel so that you get plenty of notifications when all the new videos come up. Bye.